come back. Now, as we they go straight, now so we take jam, <laughs> um, bandit, criminals, tout, thugs, people will be sitting, they commit different types of crimes for Nigeria. I mean, these people will be here, so I say, okay, when I want to sentence them to prison, they say, for where? <laughs> okay, I know they look me like that, too. I won't run. They say they don't repent now. Say even myself, I, I worst past them because they are repentance. In, in fact, not only for Nigeria. Now he go to here and say, oh, um, and for all, all things I passed away, please forgive me. I will not do it again because I'm a new creature. Now for Nigeria, he go to here and say they, they use this Christianity and Bible. Take the deceive people, they commit more crimes because people don't know. See, once we carry Bible, mention Christianity, mention God, mention Jesus. Yeah, oh, Tilo, it's over. Everybody will now fall. Oh, Jesus, because I'm Jesus, so do it too. Now, see, criminals, we they say they won't recruit, enter inside police. Some of them are going to say, you say, you know, within this boy, they talk. I mean, talks. Even get the time when Nigeria army or God. Come tell us, say, if Boko Haram repent, we can start from there. Say he can become a president of Nigeria. Let's start from there. Those of us, we don't forget about that video. Yeah. Most For it. those of them that will listen to the words of wisdom, that will listen and think as a true Nigerian, the best for them is to lay their arms. It is the only way that we can move forward. But... As a professional soldier, we will continue to do what we know best doing, and that is to continue to project our effort in a more than determined effort. We will continue to do that. We will not be distracted by some of the activities of our detractors, by the activities of some of the collaborators. Nigeria deserves peace. North East deserves peace. The people of Borno deserve peace. Because it is only when there is peace, there will be development. And it is time now. And that is why I kept it up, that there is time for everything. If we have been in times of difficulties for over eight years, it is time now for us to celebrate peace. For everyone, you need to come on board. Boko Haram should lay their arms unconditionally and be accepted in the community. Opportunities are out there for them. They can be rehabilitated. An ex Boko Haram stands having laid his arms and comes back, turns his way away from the, his negativity. He stands to be a president of this country. He stands to aspire to any position in this country. Oh. Why is he wasting his time when he cannot even deliver? We will do that. But we have appealed to them, including their detractors, I mean, their collaborators, to see reason to as fast as possible, quickly drop their arms so that we can once again. Reoccupy our peaceful position in Nigeria and Burma. <laughs> <laughs> because some people go just think, say, oh, and this video, how come, how did they recruit all these uh, bandits and uh, criminals and all the rest of them? Those people, <laughs> this is the origination of the video. When that army or that pata pata talk that thing, at that time, now they take give power to recruit even Boko Haram. If Boko Haram, they, they recruit the entire army. Saying, what is police? Who know how many criminals they don't recruit? Give us for police sense. These people, they might knock them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are also. They are Joe. Those of them, whenever I see them, oh, oh yeah. Most true. The 222 thugs, popularly known as Endaba in Kano State, are here to embrace the amnesty initiative introduced by the Nigeria Police Force in the state. About three months ago, the Kano State Police Command invited some identified individuals believed to be behind the escalation of toggery and other heinous crimes in the state for dialogue. The meeting yielded a positive response as some of the talks embraced the initiative. Among the 222 repentant talks, 50 of them drawn from Dala, Fege, Ungugu, Kano Municipal and Gwale local government area of the state having completed a two-month intake training as members of the Nigerian Police Special Constabulary were decorated. They pledge
to promote peace in the state and promise not to go back into Togri. I am among the 50 people who were trained and absorbed into the Nigerian police force and I am prepared to play my part to ensure that Kano is peaceful. We will go around the state and continue to preach peace to the people so as to keep the state safe. While welcoming the repentant talks into the society, the Commissioner of Police, CP Mohamed Gume, debunked reports making round that the police is recruiting talks as its personnel. He says the amnesty initiative is only aimed at sustaining peace in the state. As of today, the police command has received a total of 222 influential youth and are committed to crime prevention duties with the police to pitch out violent criminals among them, notorious thugs popularly known as Endaba, who over the years engaged in supremacy conflict, Pat and Daba, as we call it. The governor of the state, Abba Yusuf, who gave a rousy welcome to the repentant talks, urged them to be good ambassadors of the state. From the day they surrendered, they have been set to a series of reformatory forces. They have undergone lectures from psychologists and other experts in human behaviorism. And by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are going to give them all the necessary encouragement. But the move has generated uproar online as some of the repentant talks who is said to be a notorious criminal recently declared wanted by the police, Nasir Abdullahi, popularly known as Chile Midoki, is among the new recruits. Some critics kicked against his inclusion and denounced the entire amnesty program. But while defending the move by Kano State, the police force spokesman, Muiwa Dejobi, said, and I quote, They are not policemen, I was told, and it has been in the news that they are repentant individuals who have been mobilized into the constabulary scheme of Kano State. The constabulary scheme is not police, but a community-based initiative. With the integration of these 222 repentant talks into the society, residents of Kano hoped that the amnesty program will address the incessant crimes in the state. Are you? Adinaye? You don't see Abi? <laughs> a shock here, Abi. This is Nigeria for you. Inst me and you now to enter police now when they had us to enter police. So how do you because I he get news when I see where the Nigerian police they complain say people from Abia State they don't want to join the police. There is shortage of manpower in the Nigerian police of people of Abia State. I say eh. So you want to mix people of Abia State now uh, with uh, these bandits when they here. I wait till now one mix. To join police now, you don't need to they go all the certificate, go they get these ones. Just go and join criminality, join bandit, join terrorist, join Fulani, his men with the five people. Once you join this kind of group of people, you are eligible for police work in Nigeria. They're gonna put Tinubu here. You they say no leave Tinubu, Tinubu is is weak. If I knock him now. <laughs> Oh, they <laughs> now, no, say, you know, they shake again. If we begin, they shake again. Moon and liver, forgive him. Put uh, the IGP and then um, put IGP. You they see what you know, they do. Police now, they even they defend them. Say, oh, they are not police, they are local, they are, if you, they are local people that will embrace peace, people that will control. Oh, yeah, <laughs> from there also. They, they are, they explain that thing, you are looking at you won't run. He get the smell. When I see the how the country take the go, this country where they call Nigeria, Oti Baje, it don't Oti Law, it don't go. It's irreparable. Nigeria is irreparable. With all this leg, Nama can never reach home here. Any day, you go die for road. I beg you, John, 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 I beg you, go another news.